Hey y'all, it's Liz. How are you? Hey look, I wanted to come and do a video. Um, it's a review on the InStyler Auto Curler Tulip, which is this here. That's what it looks like. Um, I was sent this product um, a couple of weeks ago, and when I received it, um, the, I received it that afternoon and then the next morning I was leaving to go on vacation so I decided not to do a review and then that I would wait till I got back and so um, I don't I did I made a video but I'm not gonna post it um, because it's just a it was just a waste for me um, <clears throat> with that being said I guess you already know that I don't really care for the product um, I love InStyler, and that is the God's honest truth. I have um, the InStyler rotating one. I have all three sizes and the colors, um, and I also have the Top Styler, and also um, the other InStyler that I was sent. And I had done reviews on those, and I really did like them. Um, the last InStyler product I received, um, it was the brush. That you can curl your hair with and I gave that to Nikki because she really liked it um, so she's got that one and I have the top styler and the regular in styler flat iron with the rotating um, barrel this one here let me just go ahead and say this right off um, the reason I did not care for this particular product was that do you see the barrel the barrel is so tiny and you can only put so much hair in here. So when I tried using it, um, down at the bottom, it was okay because my hair is a lot longer. But at the top, my hair is really short. So it only curled like this much of it and it left the rest of it untouched. And I know with my curling iron, I can get all the way up uh, near my roots. And, and I like that. Um, this is the um, the tulip um, little thing that you have to that you're supposed to measure your hair with. How much can go into the barrel, and it's only the amount that goes into this little bitty hole. So that's how that's how much you can put in at a time. I just don't have time to do that. <laughs> I need I need a curling iron where I can just take as much hair as I want and put in there and then just bop it and go. With this one here, um, the idea is to take that section that's no bigger than that hole, place it in here into this little slit, well, into the slit like this, and this goes up on, this part goes up towards your, your, um, what is this? Your scalp. And then you press the button and it twirls it in here and it curls about this much and then you pull it down and then your hair is curled just at the bottoms. Now, because the barrel is so tiny, you're not going to be able to get a whole bunch of hair on there. So, you're, you know, it's a lot of work for me. If you have the InStyler Tulip and you love it, well, God bless you. Please don't write me and say, oh, you know, that uh, you should use it and you should do this and do that. I don't have, I don't have time for it. Ain't nobody got time for all of that when I can just take my curling iron and wrap the hair that I want in there and keep it moving. Another thing I, I didn't care for, there's, um, here's the buttons. This is the low, medium, and high button here. Um, I don't know... Hold on, let me just see. Okay, I'm sorry about that. This is, this here, the middle button has 3, 8, and 12. That's your timer. 3 seconds, 8 seconds, or 12 seconds, you can hold it and then drop it. Um, and then the top button, this one right here, is your R, L, and A, which is uh, R for rotates the barrel to the right, L to rotate the barrel to the left, A will automatically switch rotation from left to right after each completed curl. I just I just don't have 
the patience or the time to sit there and use this button, you know, if I want it on the right or the left or, you know, automatic. I just don't have the time. Um, in Styler, you make great products, but I think this is a dud. I just think that this is just a waste of money. If you're going to, I don't even know how much this thing costs, but you can Google it and find out. For me, I would rather just use my curling iron or Nikki has a wand that she just wraps her hair in and Nikki has really really long hair so she could take it and just wrap it hold it and then release it and it's just as great um, the good thing about this is it has this protective guard on it so you can't burn yourself but then again I really can't remember burning myself with my curling iron either so I just like I said, I don't, I, I really don't care for this product. And that's the God's honest truth. Um, like I said, they sent this to me to review. Um, and there's going to be things that I like and things that I don't like. And this one is one that I do not like. Uh, like I said, it just seems like it's a lot of hassle for me to use this one. I could just grab my curling iron, plug it in, and within 60 seconds it's heated up and I just bop my hair and I go. Um, I love my curling iron so you know this here like I said the barrel is really tiny you can't get a lot of hair on there you're only supposed to use the amount of hair that goes into this little bitty hole which is not a lot uh, so it's going to take you longer to curl your hair and for me because I don't have long hair it was just a waste for me my this top part just curled just at the bottom piece here nothing up here is just the way it is um, but with my curling iron, I can get all, I can actually wound it, wound it, wind it around the barrel until it reaches near my scalp, you know, and I like that. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't care for the, the tulip. A lot of, I watched a lot of reviews on, not a lot, a few reviews on YouTube about this and people just rave and holler and scream about it. And that's great. Um, but like I said, I keep it 100% for you guys. I don't like it. I don't think it's going to be of any use to anyone with short hair. Um, I just don't think it would be. I think if you purchase it and you have short hair like me, you're really not going to like it. Um, then again, you just might. Hell, I don't know. But I know I didn't care for it. Um, and if you... I'm. Matter of fact, I'm giving this to Nikki because, she, like I said, she has really long hair. And if she just wants the beach waves at the bottom and stuff, she this will work out. She has thick hair, though, so I don't know. This this little slit here just doesn't, can't put a lot of hair in there. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's my review on the InStyler um, Auto Curler Tulip. Um... On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 2. I just, I didn't like it. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it was great. And it just did all this wonderful stuff to my hair when it didn't. But like I said, I love InStyler. And I love the other products that I have from them. But this one here was a no-go for me. And um, if you guys love it, then I'm, I wish you a lot of luck with it. Um, if you... If you don't have it and you're thinking about buying it and you have short hair, I just personally don't think that you're going to like it. I could be wrong, but um, if, if they sell it like at Walmart, that's where I would wait and buy it from because Walmart, if it does not work for you, you can return it as long as you have a receipt. So keep that in mind. Um, again, this is the InStyler Tulip and it was a no-go for Liz. All right. Well, you guys um, have a great day. Like I said, I did make I did make a video using this, and it just did not do anything. It nothing happened, and I just did not like it. And I'm telling you, I don't have to show you a video of it. I just didn't care for it. Okay. Well, you guys have a great day, and I hope you found this video useful. And like I said. Um, if you want to get it, of course, you can go to InStyler.com and purchase it. 
or you can basically wait until it comes out to Walmart where you can actually buy it, try it, and if you don't like it, keep your receipt and return it. All right, well, that's it. You guys have a great day, and I hope to be talking to you real soon. Deuces, y'all. Bye.